Well, you may have seen headlines recently like demonic sea lion attacks child or sea lions in California are attacking people. What's going on here? Well, let's check in with our oceans and earth sciences expert, Dr. Ellen Prager. Hi, Ellen. Welcome back. What's what's going on? Hi, Dave. Well, you know, unfortunately, a 15-year-old girl on the beach was bitten by sea lion, as was a surfer out in the water. And, you know, it's unfortunate, but this is not because these sea lions are demonic. They are, in fact, uh, seeing the effects of a toxin called demoic acid, which happens because of a harmful algal bloom going on in California, which can cause some sea lions to become aggressive. So where does this come from? Well, when the conditions are just right off the coast of California, algae can bloom in abundance. And in this case, it's an algae that contains a toxin, this demoic acid. It's a neurotoxin. And what happens is that fish eat the algae, and then sea lions, dolphins, and birds eat the fish that contain the algae, and they get sick. Essentially, they're getting poisoned. And one of the symptoms of this in sea lions is aggressive behavior. So what causes these blooms, Ellen, and, and can they be forecast? Well, the blooms actually occur naturally, but here's the problem. If there's a lot of fertilizer or waste coming off the land into the ocean, it can feed nutrients to these blooms and they can become more intense or last longer. Now, can we forecast them? We can't necessarily forecast them long in the distance ahead, but the Southern California Ocean Observing System out there, they can test the water, measure how much of this algae is there, and they can look at conditions. And so now, three days ahead, they can forecast where they think the probability of a harmful, bloom, harmful algal bloom will be. So we're sort of tracking them and forecasting the probability of a harmful algal bloom. So did the, did the recent wildfires that they've had in California, did that exacerbate the situation or did it have any impact? Oh, another good question. And well, in fact, scientists are studying that now, because if you can imagine all the ash and debris that went into the ocean after you had the fire and then you had rain, it's a pretty good chance that it might be feeding the blooms too, but we're not quite sure yet. What about the wildlife? I mean, can they be saved or can the blooms be stopped? Boy, I, that's a, a question that, you know, we all want to know because I hate to see these animals suffering. I'm sure people out there do too. The sea lions, if they are rescued in time off the beach, they can be rehabilitated and, and released. Not so much with the dolphins that get poisoned. Dolphins that strand due to demonic acid poisoning, it's typically fatal. Um, a lot of the rescue organizations are working very hard right now with regard to the sea lions. They're really trying to take in as many as they can, again, rehab them and release them. Um, and, you know, one, one last thing on that note, sea lions are wild animals and people really need to stay a safe distance away from them, even, even if they weren't seeing this toxicity and this aggressive behavior. And the recommended distance is about 50 yards or half a football field whether they're in the water or on land, please respect wildlife. These are not domesticated animals. And if they're threatened, harassed, they can bite. So stay away. Best thing is to stay away. Well, thanks for that, Alan. And we do have in the crawl as well, a phone number that you can call to report uh, a sick or stranded animal. So please do that if you find something there uh, on the uh, coastline. Uh, in California. And this uh, number is uh, valid anywhere as well. It's a NOAA uh, phone number. Well, and thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate this. So glad that you're available whenever we have these things developing. We really appreciate your input. Thanks, Dave.